over about 800 feet, and altogether, this racetrack is only eight tenths of a mile in length. There is Guerrero getting ready to put a lap on. Can you believe it? Tom Steva. Remember, he got out of the eagle because it, and Roberto getting side. He's in trouble. Guerrero spins between turns one and two. Roberto Guerrero leading this race, punches the outside wall. The caution flag is out. Roberto Guerrero damaging the right rear wing. Obviously, some damage also to the structure of that race car. And Roberto, I think, just eliminated him from himself from competition. Derek, a very very sad sight to see Roberto like that. He was it's so much in control. He ran very strongly. He was very calm. And now his day is over. There's just too much damage for anybody to hope that he can fix that car to get it back out again. And Derek, as you watch this, he looks like he's out of control already. He hunkers it down to the inside, but it still never came back all the way. He accelerates, just begins to get sideways a little bit, straightens it up. Now he's sideways. He, he almost, almost held it. The unfortunate thing is, he did a complete 360, 180, 360, almost a Danny Sullivan, almost caught it, and then it goes again and just hits the guardrail just here. We have seen Roberto spin a couple of times on nationwide television going completely around and catching it, but it just wasn't to be today, and, and that's a sad sight, and did not look like anything went wrong with the automobile. The car just got away. He was pushing very hard. He was trying hard. He put everything he had into it. It just got away from him. It's a pity for Roberto because it looked as if he could have won this race. Roberto Guerrero, who has finishes no better than 15th since back in Portland, back in June, following on the heels of that third and sixth place that we told you about earlier, was the man to beat here at San Air today. But something went wrong as he traversed between turns one and turn two, and Roberto Guerrero is now out of the race. It would be an understatement. Roberto, a fine run as long as it went, but what put you out? Well, I just, uh, I was having quite a bit of a understeer with the car, and I was trying to compensate with the roll bars on the car, and I think I went a little bit too far, and unfortunately just got away from me going out of turn one. Now, looking at you here, your uh, left shoe is un un unbuckled there. Have you, have you su suffered somewhat of a little injury down there in the ankle area? No, not at all. I was just getting changed. <laughs> oh, well, thanks for coming back with us in a tough break because Thank it was a great run to begin with for that Emerson Electric True Value team. I'd just like to say hi to Katie at home, and I'm okay. I'm sorry I blew it. Uh, That's uh, tough when a driver has to say something like that, isn't it, gentlemen?